Hyrock. The Taldarim are unleashing their mothership's phase displacement beam against Glacius' orbital defenses. I am First Ascendant Alarak, and I've been charged with destroying this facility. You seek the technology vault, but you are too late. It will be annihilated along with the rest of this pathetic world. Use your time to withdraw from the system, or remain here and watch your forces burn to ash. I care little what you choose. He is not entirely correct. If we begin now, our forces could outpace the displacement beam. Then we are going in! Alarak's warriors have established a large stronghold here. Templar, pull back. We do not have time to engage this base. Hyrock, I'm detecting movement from the Taldarim fleet. Multiple transport signatures inbound on the facility. War prisms. Clever. Alarak is activating the facility's old defenses, using them against us. Acquiring access. Work quickly, Faye Smith. Focus the disruptor on their location. Let them burn. I have its coordinates. Warping aboard the container now. You are not as weak as you appear, Artanis. We shall meet again. The purifier weaponry is safely aboard the Spear of a Dune. Wait. There is... Prototype warrior here as well. I will have to examine it more closely. Matriarch, there is a massive output of void energy spiking from the temple below. Target the epicenter. <laughs> us fools? Yes, but that is irrelevant. What is relevant is that Amon has opened a gateway to the void. Dark energies pour from within, and they will burn through your precious leader and any who oppose Amon. I can guide you to Artanas before this fate befalls him. If we are bold, we can stop the Dark God's assault. Am I to believe that the moment you're released, your blade will not be in my back? You waste time. Lower your blades. I am Alarak, first descendant of the Taldarim. Amon has betrayed my people. Retribution will be claimed for this, and if your hierarch survives, he will aid in it. Make your decision. Take us to our tennis. Most wise. The town dream had better not be lying. You are unworthy of my conversation. If you heed my words, your hierarch will live. I did not invade your ship to make idle chatter. This Taldarim has brought warriors with him. Perhaps there is a benefit to his presence after all. A Taldarim warrior invades our ship while our Hierarch is missing. I do not like this, Matriarch. <sighs> I do not trust Alarak. His sense of honor is... lacking. Matriarch, the Keystone has begun absorbing void energies at an unprecedented rate. Then this Taldarim speaks the truth. Void energies flood from the temple. 
With each passing moment, the threat grows. I do not trust him, but all data points to the scenario he describes. A gateway to the void has been opened. Is there any way to pinpoint Artanis? No. The energies are making us virtually blind. We must put our faith in this Taldarim. It pains me to do so. The Taldarim had better not be lying. Your hierarch is apparently unaware of the danger closing in around him. If you desire his safe return, you will send your warriors to these coordinates now. This path will lead your forces to Artanis. I have done as I promised, Dark Templar. Now go tell your Hierarch. I am waiting for him. Matriarch, our High Templar have volunteered to aid you. The loss of the Kala was not easily borne. But we are ready to serve once again. Templar, I thank you for your bravery in this dire time. We will recover our Hierarch. Artanis, Hierarch of the Twilight Council, Warlord of the Templar. I had expected so much more. Arrogance! Watch your words, or my blade will watch them for you. Oh, that's hardly a way to speak of one who saved your master's life. You care little for my survival, Alarak. What is the true reason you've come to me? Our god broke his ancient covenant and cast us low. These are lies, Artanis. I am the liar. Are you not but a lie incarnate machine? Prototh. Speak your peace, Alarak. The Taldarim's death fleet amasses its slain, awaiting the start of a full scale invasion. I come with an offer. You will aid me in invoking a challenge for the right to rule my kind as High Lord. And in return, I will grant you a cessation of hostilities between our people. Phoenix, rally my advisors. It appears we have much to discuss. Ah, Artanis. I believe I will serve you more effectively from here. Besides, I would rather Alarak remain where he can be watched. New Taldarim robotics have been constructed based on Alarak's specifications. Let us hope his instructions were thorough. You were right all along, Hierarch. I am little more than a clone of your friend, Phoenix. The Taldarim speaks truth. I am synthetic, a replication, a lie. What did you find in the Archive? My death, my rebirth as a Dragoon, and then my death at the hands of this Queen of Blades. I am not Phoenix, yet I hold his memories as if they were my own. I must have time to consider this. You are a warrior, Phoenix. Whether you identify yourself as my old friend or not, know that I believe in you. And I believe you will help me destroy Amon's armies and save our people. Do not waver because of this knowledge. I will try, Hierarch. Hierarch. A Taldarim on our ship. War makes for strange alliances. You must know Amon will destroy you. If you have such faith in him, why are you here? Oh, I merely voice the inevitable. I know the true power of what you face. I said destroy you, not I. I have seen enough. His hubris will be his undoing. It is a flaw I also see in you. <laughs> I believe I like you, Hierarch. Your bravery is commendable. Join me, then. Together, we can defeat him. I cannot tether my fate to yours. Hatred does not burn within you as it does in me. You do not see through the agony of knowing all you believed in is a lie, and that your only solace is found in the destruction of your betrayer. 
No. Amon corrupted my people, and now turns them into a hybrid abomination. My rage burns brighter than a thousand suns, and soon all will see my wrath unleashed. Then this is something I hope to witness. What trivial task awaits us now? Oh, what now? Amon's forces are moving. It's time to strike. Ah, it's truly astounding how many different ways you find to waste our time. Welcome back. Artanis. The Taldarim are your threat, Artanis. All else is futile. A shame. I was enjoying the solitude. The Void Portal within Ulnar has been sealed, but a greater threat looms. Amon is transforming our people into a host form. While we were focused upon Ulnar, he has unleashed the full might of the Golden Armada, using our own weaponry to eradicate life from planets across the Kapulu sector. Our current forces are not powerful enough to engage the Great Fleet, but Amon's other servants run rampant across the sector. Then we should strike immediately, eliminate his outlying forces. The ancient purifiers were designed for war. If we reactivate them, we can build our armies and destroy Amon's Zergreeds in one fell swoop. Assuming they do not turn on us first, the Purifiers possess no loyalty, no honor. You waste time bickering. The Taldarim's death fleets are your threat. I alone can challenge Malash for the right to rule and bend his army to my will. Do not forget Moby's core. They are rumored to operate from a hidden base, where they forge a hybrid army to serve, even now. This is true, but we cannot engage them without knowing where they are. Vorazun, send your most elite Dark Templar to scour the sector. For now, Karax, your focus must remain with the Keystone. The survival of our people depends on our actions in the days to come. It falls to the Firstborn to stop the coming Oblivion. The Selnagar are dead. There is no salvation within Ulnar. And yet, we indeed found hope. If we are to fight, we must raise an army. Phoenix and I believe that we can awaken the ancient purifiers and call upon their power. They may have been a forbidden weapon, but I have seen their potential in Phoenix and know that this time, they will not fail us. Siding with Alarak is indeed a risk. Tassadar, old friend, what would you do? Zeratul, would you have me take such a chance? The answer matters little. If this alliance can weaken Amon's armies, then it is a chance that must be taken. The Zelnaga are dead. There is no salvation within Ulnar. And yet, we indeed found hope. Now, we must eliminate Amon's armies. Siding with Alarak is indeed a risk. Tassadar, old friend, what would you do? Zeratul, would you have me take such a chance? The answer matters little. If this alliance can weaken Amon's armies, then it is a chance that must be taken. Oh, the efficiency of the Firstborn leaves much to be desired. Why do we linger here? Oh, your ship is too bright, it pains my eyes. Oh, it is you. I assume your plan is to bind these robotic warriors to your will. They will be allowed their freedom, much like Phoenix. Making slaves of them is what led to their revolt before. Oh, this foolish idealism taxes my patience. Idealism? 
They are the replications of our greatest champions. We seek to free your people from Malash, and yet you desire to enslave mine? I care not for freedom, it softens a people. I will dethrone Malash and save my kind from oblivion. But they will not be free. They will serve me. Freedom is a delusion granted to the weak by the strong. You speak as Amon does. For the sake of your life, that will change. Instill the Phoenix Machine as the new executor of the purifiers, and use them as the tools of destruction they were built to be. Alarak's vanguards have joined our cause. It seems our surprises have no end. This errand of yours has been a waste of our time. We should leave for slain. The purifiers will be a useful addition to our forces. I would hardly call this an errand. Yes, but as we already discussed, you chose to give them freedom, hoping that they will do as you command. Do not presume to lecture me about my decisions, Tal Darim. But I so enjoy our exchanges. Siding with Alarak is indeed a risk. Tassadar, old friend, what would you do? Zeratul, would you have me take such a chance? The answer matters little. If this alliance can weaken Amon's armies, then it is a chance that must be taken. Our ships for assault. Hierarch, Mobius Corps vessels are not moving into attack position. Something isn't right. Our shielding has been punctured. I'm detecting Terran cloak signatures on the lower decks, heading toward the bridge. Assault interfere with our plan. Mobius Corps will not expect a counterattack. Though you are not a warrior, you know their defenses better than any other. I entrust this task to you, Face Smith. Lead our carriers against the facility while my warriors hold here. As you command, Hyrock. Amon's hybrid facility lies in ruin. His hybrid armies, shattered. And yet, for the briefest of moments, we lingered on the cusp of ruin. We endured because of the actions of one brave Templar. In the midst of darkness, I have seen a light. I have seen defiant hope. Carax of the Kalai, you were born a craftsman from a cast of engineers, but now you stand as a warrior. Today, it is clear that the age of castes has come to its end. Today, we must all become Templar. to Amon. Every moment we linger is a moment wasted. <laughs> Such hubris. To think that they could control what they did not understand. Oh, it's always hubris with the Terrans. Get too close to a black hole and it will crush you. We once thought the same of the Tal Darim, Alarak. We believed you mindless and obedient slaves. And we thought you were weak, impure, and unworthy. And yet now we stand together. Perhaps we acted too rashly with Mobius Corps. There may have been a different way. Oh, Templar, is there ever a moment when your people do not doubt themselves? No, Artanis. 
Extermination was the only course. The hybrid leave nothing to save. Oh, what now? Revenscar has fallen, and through its death, the Templar have been born anew. But the matter of the Taldarim still concerns me. Siding with Alarak is indeed a risk. Tassadar, old friend, what would you do? Zeratul, would you have me take such a chance? The answer matters little. If this alliance can weaken Amon's armies, then it is a chance that must be taken. It is an armada. Behold the Death Fleet under Amon's command, poised on laying waste to all life in the sector. Then we had best act swiftly. Rakshir, usurpation by ritual combat cannot be rushed. Its rights demand careful preparations if they are to be accepted. We are in orbit above a hostile world with an imposing fleet, and you speak of preparation? I intend to depose Malash, the ruler of an entire people, and bring them under my thrall. You will aid me, and in return, I will remove the Talgarim from this conflict. That was our bargain. To do this, the ritual must be carried out as tradition demands. This bargain grows less appealing by the moment. If all of Alarak's people are as grim as he is, this will be quite an interesting alliance. I wish to know more about this Rakshir, your ritual combat. To understand Rakshir, you must first understand the sacred chain of ascension that ultimately links to Amon. Each of us is shackled to his will, and to the will of he who is in the link above. And yet, there is a way to ascend. By blade and blood, any Taldarim can usurp the position of the one above his station. It is through this ritual that Amon's ascendants are assured to be the most capable to carry out his will. Then Malash is the most powerful of your people? He is considered so, but he has yet to face me. Whatever shall we do with this Alarak, he is quite unpleasant. I cannot bring myself to hope for Alarak's victory, but I also cannot hope for his defeat. What will happen to Alarak if he fails? I am merely curious. In order to invoke the challenge of Rakshir, preparations must be completed, as the decrees of old describe. Ready your warriors. Malash will surely attempt to interfere. These are Malash's guardians. I need you to eliminate them before I proceed. If it must be done... Wait, what is that strange fog? Tarazine. It flows in cycles from the chasms of slain, bringing us closer to the void. Amon's forces will be able to manifest until the flow subsides. They do not possess their full power here, yet they will strike at your base ruthlessly. I thought you promised an assured victory, Alarak. You enjoy a challenge, do you not? Very well. My forces will pursue the Guardians while it is clear. When the Terrazine flows, we must endure the onslaught. The veil between this world and the Void is lifting. Amon's forces will arrive soon. The Guardians stand watch over the Shrine. Kill them slowly and painfully. My people will fight with honor, even when we are fighting for you. But first, we must establish our defenses. Hierarch, I was able to scan the Taldarim motherships in this region. They are carrying shipments of Solarite. 
I don't think Alarak would mind if we liberated them. We approach the void. Ready your warriors. Amon's forces are gone. Now's your chance to attack the Guardians. Have you come to bear witness to the end? The fog gathers, Artanis. Make your preparations if you're so inclined. This shall not be our end, but a new beginning. Ah, another Guardian has fallen. What a thrilling sight. If it is so thrilling, why not join us? Well, I must save my strength to face Malash, of course. The fog is fading. What better time is there to slay my enemies? You know little of Alarak, or you would not aid him. Oh, what glorious deaths. You do well to promote my cause, Artanis. I only hope that is true. We approach the void. Ready your warriors. Amon's forces are gone. Now's your chance to attack the Guardians. The fog gathers, Artanis. Make your preparations if you are so inclined. The fog is fading. What better time is there to slay my enemies? You will stand against a god? You go to your death, Alarak. The Dark God will destroy you! I have heard enough of his lies. Your ritual is complete. What now? Well, they were not part of the ritual, but these traitors would have aided Malash in it, and I wish to see them die. Now the time has come. Hi, Lord, hear me. I invoke the right of Rakshir. Fight me according to our laws, or die a coward! We meet in combat at daybreak. You shall have your challenge. I am going to make this clear. The Templar are not a weapon you can wield as you wish. We are not here to slay your enemies under false pretenses. Deceive me again, and this alliance of ours comes to an end. Slaying Malash's guardians fulfilled more than one purpose. Once the High Lord lies dead at my feet, none will challenge my rule. After all these years, my victory is nearly at hand. I feel his concern on Tannis. He knows that I'm coming for him. Malash? No. Amon. Through the breath of creation, I peer beyond the veil. Oh yes, I feel his rage washing over me. He knows I no longer fear him. He knows that the Talgarim have no color for him to control. I will turn the Chosen against him. Do not assume you are already victorious, Alarak. Do not let the Terrazine cloud your judgment. You have a battle to win first. The battle is already won. In my mind's eye, I have delivered the killing blow in a thousand ways. From my experience, overconfidence is your opponent's greatest ally. Do not let yours aid Malash. Spoken as one who welcomes defeat. Malash has proven himself to be a dangerous leader. Indeed. That's why my victory shall be the sweetest of ecstasy. Has he defeated many in this right? Countless. He ascended the chain with brutal wrath, plowing through all who opposed him. It's as if he were blessed by the Dark God. They called him the Blade of Amon. And still he was challenged? It is our way. He defeated each with lingering cruelty. Malash revels in bringing his challengers to the edge of death and tormenting them for a time after. That does not comfort me, Alarak. Comfort is a myth given to younglings until they are ready for the trials and pain that is true existence. Leave me. 
It is time to make preparations. Alarak may seem untrustworthy, but I think he lacks the finesse for deceit. What will happen to Alarak if he fails? I am merely curious. I cannot bring myself to hope for Alarak's victory, but I also cannot hope for his defeat. A shame. I was enjoying the solitude. Ah, it's truly astounding how many different ways you find to waste our time. The darkness within calls for the blood of Malash. Now is the hour of my ascendance. Let Rakshir commence! The rite of Rakshir has begun. From this moment, only Alarak and Malash are allowed to engage each other in combat directly. One must overpower the other and reach the pit of sacrifice. There, the victor will stand as the new leader of the Talgari, and the loser's life will be forfeit. They appear quite evenly matched. This is true. However, from what I have learned, Rakshir allows the champion's supplicants to support them psionically. Our warriors will be able to aid Alara. But likewise, the Talgarim can assist Malash. I will ready our forces. Malash will fight ruthlessly to hold on to his power. We must be prepared to do the same. The Talgarim will send warriors to aid Malash shortly. We should ensure Alarak has sufficient reinforcements. Malash is drawing power from the Talgarim. Alarak will need the support of our warriors. Yes, your psionic power courses through me. Move forward, slaves. Kill all who aid Malash! You would do well to remember that I command these warriors, Alarak, not you. Hierarch, I don't understand how this is possible, but my scanners are detecting high solarite concentrations in the native beasts here. We ought to pursue them. However, I think it best if we don't inform Alarak of this little diversion. Understood, Hierarch. Hierarch, I am sensing hybrid. They come to aid Malash. Amon's harbingers, join our struggle! Fight well, warriors, and you will also ascend into hybrid! Oh, you lie with such conviction. It is almost admirable. Your death will be quick, Alarak. I have already wasted too much time on your heresy. My vengeance will not be delayed. Send me your warriors. I will not fall by your hand, Malash. Where are my supplicants, Arcanus? Our confrontation draws to a close, Malash. Soon everyone will know the depth of your treachery. Alderim, by the right of Rakshir, I am your High Lord. Listen and obey. Malash promised you lies. There is no ascension. The Taldarim will never be uplifted and become hybrid. Amon betrayed us, and for this, he must die. As you do. What they believe is of little consequence. What matters is that they obey. You choose to rule differently than I, Alarak. Despite this, we may not only end the violence between our kind, but forge a powerful alliance. Can we now? My people are vastly different than yours, Hierarch. 
We both desire vengeance, and we are both Protoss. Is that not enough? Oh, very well. Submit to my absolute authority, and we may indeed unite our forces. Do not test me, Taldarim. Amon is a mighty foe. Your people cannot hope to stand alone against him. You will side with me, and together we will send him back to the Abyss. <laughs> oh, so you do understand my culture after all. Let us say that for now, we have struck another bargain. Have the Taldarim accepted the truth of Amon's betrayal? Some have. Others dare not question my commands. None wish to declare Rakshir upon you. Let them. No one can stand in the way of my vengeance. This grows tiring. We have done what we came to do. Set course for ire. And let us bring this war to Amon. Do not dare give me orders, Alarak. We will return to Ire only when I believe the time is right. Let's hope that time comes soon. Alarak has brought his ascendants into our fold. They are fierce, but strong. Do not think what has happened here will spare Alarak from my watchful eye. I did not expect it to. If he dares to betray us or takes any action against you, I promise his blood will coat these corridors. Good. That is what I am counting on. Amon awaits. Delay us no longer, Artemis. Brothers. Sisters. The time has come for our attack. Oh well, this is truly a miracle. Rohana has used her connection to the Kala to reveal Amon's plan. He forges a hybrid body to indwell, and exists within it and the Kala. But he remains vulnerable until this form is complete. He must call upon the Golden Armada for defense. There is still a way to prevent them from warping to Ire, by dismantling the Warp Network's power structures. That would grant us the time we need to destroy Amon's hybrid form. Clever. Once he only has the Templar to inhabit, we unleash the Keystone, removing Amon from the Kala. It will not contain him for long. No, but long enough for our people to sever their connection to the Kala and thrust him back into the Void. His optimism is dangerous. We could destroy them all from orbit and not waste such time. How dare you suggest the destruction of our people? I will not accept that, Alarak. What we face is a true horror, but we must endure it. Ready yourselves. The final confrontation is upon us, and we will meet it head on. Your people are lost, Artanis. I know you desire to save them, but it will not be done. Our focus should be on Amon's destruction alone. By destroying Amon's body, then liberating my people from the Kala, he will be thrust back into the Void. It is a victory we can achieve. It is a folly and a risk we do not need to incur. We should eradicate the Protoss, burn the entire world, and all on it. No, Alarak. If we may save my people, it will be done. Do not defy me on this. Of course, I only counsel wisdom. If you do not wish to hear it, I will say no more. Vorazum, Alarak, you must enter the Citadel of the Executor to reach the first power structure. But the city has been infested. No matter. We shall purge Antioch of the Zerg. Even if I must do it myself. So these are the Zerg who defeated you? Pitiful. They too shall fall before my power. Tell me, how did you lose ire to these animals? Did they leap up and chew apart your starships? The Zerg were once the greatest threat my people faced. Only a fool would underestimate them. Well then, I will bow to your experience as the fool. I hesitate to think what you would do without me. 
You are about to find out. This gate is sealed from the other side, and I shall move through the shadows to open it. The enemy will never see me. Are you down yet? Or do I need to keep slaughtering the Zerg here? There! The gate has been opened. Finally. Now let us continue. It seems I must infiltrate the enemy's forces and unseal the way forward. Uh, those mutilisks are swarming en masse. I would do my best to remain undetected if I were you. We have nearly reached the power structure. Press forward, High Lord. Orders from you. The inner chamber is completely sealed. My stealth will not avail us here. Then let us try a more direct approach. Guard me while I prepare. The Zerg will surely sense my growing power. Almost. Just a moment longer. Unbelievable. You didn't just blast open the door. Both the Zerg and the power structure will trouble us no more. Contact the others and tell them of the victory I have brought you. Rohana, Alarak and I have destroyed the power structure. Alert the next team that they may begin. Hyrock, I fear you are in great peril. Psionic energy is gathering in the cavern behind you. If it reaches your position... Do not fear, Karax. My warriors and I will keep ahead of the energy storm. Victory is still within our grasp. Artanis, I am sending my Dark Templar to clear the path ahead. They shall aid your advance. As will the purifiers, deploying warp prisons. The Taldarine shall win this battle for you. My warriors are joining your forces now. The Psy Matrix is destroyed. Let us now take our fight to Amon. I need no rest. Give me enemies to slaughter. Oh, the ship is stifling. The Taldarim and Alarak have joined our fight, but we cannot strike against Ire until Amon's armies have been brought low. Mobius Corps is overseeing Amon's hybrid production lab. I will not let this continue. We will go to Revenscar and destroy the station before Amon can create more of these abominations. Dark Templar, strike with great fury! Amon's downfall is at hand. Taldarim, your High Lord demands the Dark God's blood. Do not disappoint me! All three forward positions have been secured, Artanis. Now, let us bring an end to Amon. is without meaning. You shall be expunged. No trace of your suffering shall remain. The blades of Shakuras descend upon the Dark God. Victory nears, my brothers. Fight with all you have! Sensors are detecting a large group of void entities moving against our nexus point. <laughs> Warriors! Slaughter all who oppose my will! Let the betrayer know my wrath! Vengeance for the betrayed! Taldarim! Grant our enemy no quarter! Warriors! Slaughter all who oppose my will! You have surprised my people, Hierarch. They knew little of the bravery of the Templar. Some are even impressed by it. They have fought nobly, Alarak. I am honored that they stand with me. They admire your conviction and brutality. And if we are victorious this day, will they continue to stand with me? If I will it. But now is not the time to muse upon future things. Not when my vengeance awaits. My brethren, hear me. 
for there is little time left. All that remains of our race, our civilization, are those that stand beside you now, and those corrupted on the surface below. Our kind once stood as stewards of a galaxy full of promise. In our pride and division, we failed that sacred charge and fell to ruin. The Kala, designed to bring unity, ultimately only aided those divisions. Its hope was a lie. Today, that lie must come to its end. And with it, our prejudice and arrogance must become a thing of the past. For we now fight in the belief that our kind has not seen its end. That we, Protoss, can stand bound by a belief in unity. And that we, Protoss, will forge a great and mighty new civilization. Trust each other in the fight ahead. Strike as one will. Let our last stand burn a memory so bright that we will be known throughout eternity. The Keystone is in place, Hierarch. It will require time to charge to its full power. The Nerezim stand ready, Artanis. We will hold the northern entrance to the temple. The Purifiers and I will secure the southern approach. And I lay claim to the primary battle line. Amon shall know my wrath firsthand. My forces will ensure the Keystone's safety and provide for our defense. We will reinforce your warriors as we are able. Hierarch, the Zerg surround us. But what of the Golden Armada? Disabling the Psi Matrix delayed their return, but... Amon will bring the full might of the Great Fleet to bear against us. Of that, there is no doubt. But we shall not break. We are the Daylon, united as never before. Entaro Adun. Entaro Tassadar. Entaro Zeratul. So, Amon intends to lay siege from all directions. Step forth, Dark One, and face Alarak, High Lord of the Taldarim. Our defenses have been breached, and our nexus is under attack. Where is your promised aid, Hierarch? Warriors, a stream of enemies will be upon us shortly. Stand firm, and we shall resist them. I have no intention to die for this cause, Artanis. If you cannot protect me, I shall not aid you. The hour of my vengeance has come. Speak. Now. You address the High Lord. How shall you serve me? What? Do not waste my time. Of course I am needed. State your request. My blades have met the enemy. Only because I will it. As I desire. So shall it be. Oh. Well, I agree with this choice. So goes the chain of ascension, as I will it. Oblivion awaits. Oh, they shall suffer. My blades seek blood. Chrysol fuck Aran. The weak always fall. Vengeance is mine. Burn. Oh, my patience runs short, Templar. Do not press me further. Oh, are you incapable of listening or just comprehending? So this is the Zerg, the great enemy, who brought the Templar so low? How utterly disappointing. Bow before your High Lord and submit completely to my rule. Really? 
Oh, Hierarch, is this how you spend your free time? No wonder these missions of yours take so very, very long. There are fates worse than death, you know. I could have you extract Terezine until you lose your mind like that fool Nyon. <sighs> oh, the breath of creation fuels my every... What was I, what was I saying? I'm hungry. Oh, maybe I've got it all wrong. Maybe I should show a little compassion. Maybe Amon is just misunderstood. Maybe... Maybe we both are. My wrath is not quenched. I am Janara, first ascendant of the Taldorim. Our High Lord has charged me with the eradication of the defenders of man. Do not interfere. That's a tempting solution, but any assault on the defender's position will surely kill the civilians. Evacuation is impossible. Then we have no choice. We have to protect the defenders. Only until we defeat the Protoss. I see they're using shield projectors to channel power into a mothership. It's currently in orbit, but it seems likely they'll use it to destroy the defenders once it's fully charged. We better take out those projectors. Let's go! Leaving thousands dead on Tirador 9. But this attack also heralds an alarming new development. The return of the Protoss. Tensions run high in the wake of the battle. It is unclear whether the Protoss meant to eliminate the Zerg or us as well. We've reached out to General Davis of the Dominion's Armed Forces for comment. General? This is a terrible tragedy, Kate. My heart goes out to all its victims. The Dominion must protect them. Now, as for the Protoss... Hmm? Nova, we have a guest. <clears throat> May I introduce Alarak, High Lord of the Taldarim? Oh, oh, for creatures with such short lifespans, you Terrans are always so eager to die. What do you want? The same as you. To annihilate the defenders of man. They destroyed a remote Taldorim outpost, and then scurried away before the Death Fleet could retaliate. Such brazen disrespect demands retribution. I will exterminate them like the pests they are. And you will find them for me. From what I understand, that's your area of expertise. If I knew where they were hiding, I'd already be there. But I can't remember anything. one of them. Well, you may be more useful than I anticipated. I suppose you've already attempted to restore your memories. Terran minds are so malleable. What you require is Terrazine. Terrazine? I don't even have access to it. But I do. I will lead you to its source in exchange for you taking me to the Defenders of Man. Do we have a bargain? do. For now. Good. But be prepared, Taran. You are in for a challenge. The High Lord's coordinates lead us to this drop zone. It appears that his forces have already established a position nearby. Their movements indicate that they'll be competing with you for control of the Terrazine on this world. Why would they do that? Perhaps Alarak intends for you to cull his weakest warriors. The Taldarim prize strength above all else. You'll have to fight your way to the extraction devices, 
then defend them whilst they harvest. I'll activate our ravens and liberators to assist you. I don't know how you get access to everything, but I'm grateful, Rigel. Is there anything else Alarak isn't telling us? Hmm. My scans show signs of life in this area, but they're all below the surface. They probably won't stay that way. I'll be ready. It's a high-risk operation. And yet, should you prevail, you will have more than enough Terezine to restore your memories. Nova, the Taldarim are contacting us directly. You may have impressed High Lord Alarak in our last battle, but you haven't impressed me. I will be competing with you for the Terezine in this challenge. May the best warrior ascend to victory. I think she's still mad about her mothership. This isn't going to be easy. We have safeguarded more of the Terezine, High Lord. Truly, you cannot consider these Terrans to be worthy opponents. Impossible. This primitive creature has defeated our forces! Yes. Twice now. Where is High Lord Alarak? Nova, it appears that despite my doubts, you have emerged the victor. The Terezine you have gathered will lead you to the Defenders of Man, provided it does not destroy your primitive consciousness. That's reassuring. How should I contact you once I know where they are? When the time comes, I will know. The Dominion has always had a strong leader. Stepping into my father's role was challenging. And I often relied on others to support me. As General Davis did, when the Defenders of Man began spreading disinformation about my response to the Zerg attacks. I take these allegations seriously. My administration has completed a thorough investigation of the Defenders of Man. The truth is, they used Psy emitters to incite the Pharaoh Zerg to attack, and they have executed unprovoked strikes on the Protoss as well. Our evidence is undeniable. The orders we recovered were issued by none other than General Carolina Davis. She is hereby under arrest and charged with treason against the Terran Dominion. I look forward to announcing the trial date shortly. Flying in from the right side. Nova. Why are you helping these vermin? There are innocent people here. You already know that. You just don't care. You have defied High Lord Alarak again! Such stupidity, even for a Terran. Janara. I guess Alarak won't fight his own battles. This whole time, Alarak has been testing me. I will not fail. Janara is leading the rest of the Death Fleet toward us, Nova. We'll finish this. One way or another. I do not take kindly to betrayal, Taran. You 
fate a powerful enemy today. So have you. Have I now? Your hubris is quite entertaining. Don't come back. <laughs> Nova. The Taldarim are warping out, but the damage is done. Now it will be even harder to convince the people that aliens are not a threat. That's why the Defenders of Man attacked the Protoss in the first place. Davis will go to any length to gain public support, no matter how many innocent lives it costs. Those were my father's tactics. Davis will answer for this Nova. Track her down and bring her in to stand trial for her crimes. Bring her in? We've tried that. It didn't work. There's only one way to stop her. No. I have publicly declared that Davis is to stand trial in a court of law. Bring her back alive, Nova. Yes, Emperor. Nova, our orders are quite clear. 